Welcome back. We got our unique recipe today that comes straight from the spring menu at the Hotel Donaldson. That's right. And here to help us make rabbit and little ear pasta is executive chef Ryan Nitschke, again from the Hotel Donaldson. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's yeah, great to have absolutely. you. Great to be here. Great to be here. So yeah, this is the this the rabbit pasta. It's off our spring menu that you can get right now. Yeah. Uh, it's a seasonal menu that we we'd like to change as the ingredients become available. Okay. Um, and so first thing first, I got yeah. this pan heating up right here. We can just start off. It's going to take a little bit to cook, so we'll get a little bit of oil in the pan here. All right. We got some nice spring ingredients here. Uh, we're going to get started with just these morel mushrooms. They're real fun, honeycomb looking mushrooms. Know, They're really cool. We really, were looking at it. Really cool. We, we can just. Close up on just throw them in their hole, huh? Toss them in there just like that. Nice. And then the fiddlehead ferns, these are like little ferns uh, that grow like little fronds of the baby ferns yeah. that you pick and you eat them as a vegetable. Wow. Yeah. Yep. They're gonna they can they're gonna start to pop up and even in Fargo near the Red River, they, during wet areas, that's where they grow. And even morel mushrooms. A lot of people like to go foraging for these for sure. So you I can even that. heard of them. Wanna help me stir around there? It, then we got our rabbit here. I already braised this rabbit up. To braise your rabbit, it's kind of like you want to braise anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Just get your mirepoix, like a uh, carrot, celery, onion. Uh, you want to get a hard sear on your rabbit in a nice deep pan or a Dutch oven. And then you can add your mirepoix in there, a can of tomatoes, and then fill it up with some uh, chicken stock. I'm just going to throw Thank this you. right in there. Now, if people really don't want to eat rabbit, can they substitute it for, you know, maybe chicken or some yeah chicken it, it, I mean it tastes a lot like chicken people have it and say it. a little bit more gamier flavor but yeah. yeah chicken is a perfect substitute pork uh, even if you want to do it in your crock pot at home it's really easy like you would do a, a beef roast mm -hmm. a pork roast or even a whole chicken you can just do it right in your crock pot and let it go for a few hours okay um, so keep stirring yep keep stirring there. all right and what about people getting the rabbit where would you pick up rabbit rabbit yeah. uh, there's some online sources uh, right now we get this through Iowa uh, there's a few sources online that you can get it at North Dakota, but um, okay. and a lot of people think that uh, rabbit is a real uh, a real exotic ingredient. But I believe we know we used to eat a lot more rabbit. Uh, yeah. My grandmother, before my time, right here in Fargo, raised rabbit uh, in the neighborhood and sold it to sold it to the neighborhood folks when times were tough. It was a cheap, easy yeah. thing to eat. You know, okay. you pour a little bit of the reserve stock here. It's gonna bubble up. You're gonna turn it down just a tad. We're just gonna let that cook. Mm -hmm. I can sit there and cook for a while. It's gonna cook our mushrooms all the way through and our okay. fiddlehead ferns all the way through. So should I just let it sit or do you want me to kinda? Uh, you can watch it a little bit, stir a little bit. And then uh, at this time, I'm gonna throw just a little bit of the garlic and shallots nice. in there. Nice. I didn't throw the garlic and shallots in there before because I just didn't, I wanted to get that flavor in there, but I didn't want to brown them and get that uh, bitter browning flavor in there. It's no okay. good. And I'll throw just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm glad you said that because typically I just sort of dump everything in at once. Exactly. Yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, it's good to get all the, the good tips. Yep, yep. All and right. Where'd you get the, uh, what'd you call it, the broth or whatever? Well, it's the it's the reserved uh, broth that I got from raising the rabbit. So it's a uh, rabbit rabbit juice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's yeah so, it's, so it's like it was chicken, originally chicken stock that we cooked it in, a little bit of tomato, so it's got that tomato -y flavor. It's going to... Uh, just help bring the flavor. You want to use everything. You don't want to throw anything away when you're when you're cooking. So like when you're, if you're using chicken, yeah. just save that chicken broth and you can do the same thing. We're just going to let this cook down for a little bit. That's okay. So interesting. And I can show you how to make the pasta here. This yeah. is a uh, semolina pasta dough, which is a traditional uh, pasta uh, for orecchetti, which is the pasta we're making today. That's the Italian name, which means uh, little ears. Little ears. Yeah. Hence the on our menu, you'll find it little ears because we would we like people to feel comfortable and we want people to be able to pronounce everything. You oh, know, yeah. we don't want people to be intimidated because they can't say it on there. So I I pre-made this dough because it needs to rest for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure they have enough time, so I just got it right here. I can cut you up a okay. piece too. All right. You can just wow. kind of just form it. Okay. Kind of just roll it in your hands a little bit. All right. What you want to do is uh, roll it out. As into we're yeah. Oh, that's okay. You keep going. We, th as you're doing it, we might just uh, go to a break in about 15 seconds. But go ahead yeah. and tell us a little bit more. Well, I'm just rolling this out here. Uh, semolina dough is uh, I, I use. It's a nice bright yellow here because I like to use a lot of egg yolks. We use a lot of farm fresh egg yolks, mm -hmm. so uh, it gets the gets really nice bright yellow yolks there. It's a beautiful pasta. Okay. As just, we roll this out, we'll go to a break and come back with more rabbit ear pasta. All right. 